should help thee. It always got to be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. something on him, I swear. He's got money on him. He, he has to. Please, just... Yep. 
shit. Easy there. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie. Nie. Now you remember where you're keeping that silver. Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. God damn it! You have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. Jo, 
już nie mam siły. A, no, 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 please no. No have money, but, but have this. It's, it's good, it's good, it's valuable. It's, it's Warszawa, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. Uh, very valuable, good? Not good yet. Be something somewhere. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. You must have come here with something. I need, I must eat, proszę. Okay, that should about cover things. To zabrałeś już prymitywie, idź precz. Jestem zrujnowany, zrujnowany. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet. Let's go, girl.
Can I tell Morning, you Arthur. Always. I'm frightened, Hosea. I apologize Real in advance for this stew. It, it needs better meat. Pinkerton's Good job, Mr. Morgan. It all feels... We've been in bad situations before, but... Yeah, Jose. Hey. I can't stay here. You all right? I'm all right, I suppose. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Okay, I'm out. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and... I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. 
and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the wall. I fought for you. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough 
to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <laughs>